The Yankees are gonna repeat this year. I like the Cods, I really do. All I'm saying is look at the depth. All they got in the mound is Alexander and Haynes. Now that'll get you two games, three, tops. You know, pitching ain't everything. Do you even read the sports section? Oh, forget about it. Where is this guy? I thought you said 11.30. He'll be here. Yeah, well, it's already quarter till. What, you got somewhere to be? I told May I was working late. So what's the problem? You got held up at the office. Yeah, the problem is, is that there's working late, and then there's working late. And it doesn't take a genius to start spotting the difference. Yeah, I still don't see why you get so worked up oh, over easy. this one. Remember, you're coming over for yeah, dinner tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. Is that our guy? Yeah, looks about right. Let's go. Hey there, Al. How you doing tonight? <coughs> I haven't seen you or the old gang out in a while. It's making me think that Harold forgot about a payment that's supposed to be made. I swear! Oh. What's that, Al? I'm having a hard time understanding you. May I? Fine. Just tell my brother what he wants to know. I realize you're probably having a hard time breathing right now, but we really need your help. So just tell us what we want to know, and I won't have to have him start breaking your pretty little face. Just tell us where he- Your mother- You put a knife on me, huh? You piece of trash! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll tell Harold you want the money. Yeah, you're damn right we want our money. Now look, you tell him we found you, we can sure as hell find him, too. And add an extra 20% for lack of promptness. You think you can deliver that message? Yeah. Yes! I, 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 I'll tell him he wants the money. Jesus Christ, Tom, what the hell was that? Improvising. He probably didn't even know Harold's money was due. Hey, look, I'm not just gonna let some punk pull a knife on my kid brother. Someone had to do something. Yeah, well, I don't suppose he's gonna be talking to Harold now. Hey, look, we wanted to send a message. All I did was wrap a big bow around it. Last of it and help yourself, Tom. Oh, it tastes good, May. It really does. Got some fancy chef hidden in the closet or something? Oh, it's not as difficult as people think. I can show you a few simple things if you'd like. I would advise against that, May, unless you're looking to burn this place to the ground. Tom! No, it's the truth. I haven't acquired the skills to be the housewife yet. Oh, that's all right, Bonnie. It's not for everyone. I just got lucky. This is some damn good lasagna, though, May. We don't curse at this table. What? Sorry, Tom, it's my rule. I just think we can do without it for a little while. I'm sure you boys get enough of it at the office. Yeah, can get a little rowdy sometimes. Really? Connor never brings it up. Um, it's because I like to leave work at work. You know that. It's probably for the best, May. You don't want the mess following you home. I need a drink. Would you like some more water? Uh, no, I need something stronger. Tom, you want a drink? All right, sure. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? Work can get rowdy. You don't want the mess following you home. I mean, Jesus, we're supposed to work at a supply office, not some damn nightclub. Who cares? Just tell her what we do. Bonnie knows and she loves it. Hell, gets her going. Now that's what you need. A broad that's gonna light a fire under your ass, not keep you on a leash. It's more complicated than that. Like hell it is. Just sit her down and tell her, May, I haven't been entirely honest with you. Yeah, but you got it backwards. I don't want to stop lying to her. I don't want to need to anymore. Wait. You want out? Yeah. You can't just quit. We've got a partnership. 
You know how much money we've got saved up? We've got a good thing going here. Yeah, but for how long? I mean, you saw me yesterday. I got sloppy and almost took one in the gut. Now what happens when it's a gun gets pulled and I'm not ready for it? So you got sloppy. Big deal. You just gotta write this shit. You just gotta focus. Shh. May's putting ideas into your head for something that we ain't built for. Yeah, but we could be. Now look, I just need to figure out a few things and then we're headed out of this city. And I want you to come with us. No way, man. I'm not going anywhere and neither are you. Oh, wise up, brother. The deeper into this we've gotten, the riskier it's been. Now I don't know how much longer we can do this before one of us has to buy a body bag. I'm out. And you should be too. never to go to one of those family dinners with you ever again. That May was stiff as a board. Yeah, you're telling me. And can someone please explain to me how she managed to turn Connor into such a sap? He was always looking for a way out anyway. Guess this was just his chance. What are you talking about? We were raking in the clams and he was loving it. Uh, before she got here. Either way, if he wants out, just let him. You don't need him. Are you kidding me? You need someone watching your back in this business. Who better than my own brother? All I'm saying is that I think we'd be better off without him. What do you mean, we? I figured you might need another pair of hands. Now that Connor's out of the picture, I could fill in. <laughs> and what exactly are you going to do out there? You got some kind of skill I don't know about? I got some special talents. That could be useful. <laughs> of that, I have no doubt. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think oh, I... Oh, come on, Tommy. I even got something lined up. Yeah? What's that? There's a few fellas down at the bar that play poker every once in a while. It's not a huge take, but it's easy money and it'll get you back in the game. They, uh, bring heat? I don't see him carrying, so it'll be easy to swindle him. Oh, come on, baby. Just be as easy as picking up a paycheck. You know, you should be a salesman. Mm. <laughs> so, when's the next game? Tomorrow night. on the house. Thanks, darling. You guys got room for one more? This is a closed table, friend. Oh, come on. I'm good for it. So I can assume that you know how to play five card? In my sleep. Sorry to ruin your evening, boys, but tonight just seems to be my night. <laughs> you haven't ruined a thing. Hey, pal, take it easy. You just had a rough night. Let's just stop pretending you came here to play cards, Mr. Donning. So, you know who I am. How'd you ever figure that out? Let's just say we have friends with many talents. 
Does anyone need anything? Yeah, darling. Could you grab that knife out of my back whenever you get a chance? Sorry, Tom. But like you said, your business is crippled. And these fine gentlemen are on the upswing. You understand? Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a little trip to your place. We're gonna have a look around, see if there's anything we fancy. And we'll be doing that now. Do you know what I love about playing cards? Most people think that somebody's just gonna pull out a big flush or a full house and take all the winnings. Okay, is there a point to this? Because we really must make a schedule. Yeah, I'm getting to it. My point is, what most people don't realize, all you really need to win is a well-placed pair. Come on, Tom. Let's get out of here. my skin. Again. No one pulls a gun on my brother. Thank you. 